What is up, everyone? I'm Igor. Welcome to my workshop. In today's quick video, I'd like to share my experience with parametric modeling in Fusion 360 and demonstrate how I modeled my puzzle box. I hope some of you may find this video useful as parametric modeling is a very, very powerful tool. So, without any further ado, let's get started, shall we? All right, here's our new project in Fusion 360. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to define the parameters for my model, basically the dimensions. So for that, you use this change parameters dialog. By the way, by default, it's not here, but you can bring out any menu item by going to it. So in this case, it's modify, change parameters, then clicking this, uh, uh, these three dots and, oh, sorry. You can pin it to a toolbar or to shortcuts or assign a keyboard shortcut. I've pinned it to a toolbar, so I have it right here. All right, so let's define user parameters. So click plus. So our first parameter is going to be the cube size. And let's just call it size in millimeters. And it is going to be, let's say, 60 millimeters. OK. And we also need that inner circle diameter. So let's call it C underscore diam, also millimeters, and mm, let's make it let's make it twenty for now. We can always adjust the, these parameters. That's the beauty of parametric modeling. So I'll click OK. Now create sketch on the top plane. All right, let's begin with creating a center rectangle. Again, I've brought it over here because I use it quite often. Again, you can go here, create rectangle, center rectangle. Again, I've pinned it, I've pinned it to a toolbar, so let's click center rectangle. <clears throat> now, for its dimensions, we're just gonna type size. See, it's, it's already given us a hint. Size and this is also size, and that's our that's our base shape. Now let's create a circle. So letter C or again create circle center diameter circle, uh, and this is going to be C underscore diam. There is our circle. Now we need to create lines that define the shape. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just throw them randomly here for now, like this, and this, and this. Now press D. So distance from here to here must be size divided by 4. Distance from here to here must be size divided by 4. Basically repeat the same on all four, on all four sides. Thank you. 
So as you can see now, all our lines are fully defined and fixed. They're black. Uh, there are two more lines missing. This one and this one. Also, I need these lines to be so currently they are um, they're just construction lines, they're dashed lines, so they do not participate in the geometry. I actually need them as the uh, well actual real lines. So I click it and I can either uncheck it here so it becomes solid. So see now it participates in the geometry. Or again, I can select a line and just press uh, the X button. All right, this is this is our base geometry. Uh, finish sketch. Okay, it looks looks pretty nice. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna extrude things so it's a basic operation so you either go um, either come on, either go here or just press E on the keyboard and I need to extrude them like this every other, every other uh, segment so to speak. Right, and I need to extrude them upwards, and the extrusion distance is going to begin our size. And here we have, here we have something. Okay, excellent. Um, now let's bring back the sketch, and I'm going to extrude these. Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to do that. This is going to be the internal part, and it is going to extend by size divided by two. Yeah. looks good so our second part is gonna look exactly like this only flipped by 180 so click move copy body uh, rotate let's rotate around this axis by 180 degrees Oop, I'm sorry. Should have made a copy. Move this, create a copy. Rotate around this axis. 180 degrees. Yep, that's exactly what we need. And let's also move it Let's also translate it downwards by same size. Uh, sorry, uh, not by size, but minus size. So it fits perfectly. Now, when I'm saying it fits perfectly, this means that it it is perfect. There, are, there is zero, zero tolerance. Now, if we are going to be fabricating this model, say on a 3D printer, we need to add a tolerance to our model. So what we, what we will do is we will add another parameter here. So we'll go to change parameters and add a parameter named tolerance. Now uh, let's make it 0.3 millimeters. Now let's go 
back a little. This is our original body, right? We will need to make a few changes here. So first of all, as you may remember, we've uh, extruded this, uh, this part by size divided by two. Uh, so the other part, the uh, top part is gonna reach directly, uh, directly this. So, I mean, they may touch, so basically we, can, we need to add that, that offset here, that tolerance. So this is our extrusion. So let's right click it edit feature so it says size divided by two now let's say it's size divided by two minus tolerance okay now let's see what is going on um, how do I do that uh, that's fine. Let's do this. So we've, we've changed this extrusion. So this one should have also changed. Now, what we will also need to do is, um, we, will, we need to offset all these side faces a little bit. And these inner faces as well. So let's let's begin with the, with the side faces. So modify and um, offset face. Well, actually, you could probably use press pull as well. Nah. Okay, let's do offset face. So we will offset all these faces. There should be a total of 16 faces. Fifteen and 16. And we are gonna offset them by um, tolerance divided by two. Or uh, actually minus tolerance divided by two. <laughs> because the other one is also gonna be offset by the same, by the same amount the uh, top counterpart okay now we will offset face and do it for these internal faces This time we're gonna offset them by minus tolerance because uh, there is no matching counterpart to these. So let's click OK and let's see where we are. Okay. So now let's, uh, we've done that to one part. Let's actually, uh, sorry. Let's actually do that to the other part as well. Uh, same operation, set face. Oh, right, 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 16, 16. And these are offset by minus tolerance divided by two. And these internal ones are offset by 
by minus tolerance. And that is pretty much it. Now, the beauty of it is that we have it sized for, well, it's 60 millimeters. It's sized for uh, my Elgo Mars SLA printer. And we can go here, change parameters and make it I don't know, better than 80. And you can also adjust the uh, inner circle size to 60, maybe 80 millimeters. See, it's, it's instantly changing. And I don't know, <laughs> we can set tolerance to be, I don't know. Just for giggles, five millimeters. Yeah, <laughs> see? So it's all adjustable now, so you don't need to modify your model. You just change parameters and uh, it updates everything accordingly, which is really nice. Okay, I'm gonna bring it back. 60. <laughs> Yeah, you don't say. 30. <laughs> yeah, right. 0.3.4 millimeters. Yep, that's about right. And that is all for today. I hope you've learned something new from this video. Please remember that I'm completely self-taught, so feel free to let me know down in the comments, hey man, you're doing it all wrong, here is how you're supposed to do it. I'm always eager to learn, so feel free to tell me what I'm doing wrong. Anyway, I hope you liked this video, and if so, please click that like button, feel free to share it, consider subscribing to my channel, and again, your comments and feedback are always welcome. Thanks for watching, happy tinkering, and don't forget to have fun. Bye!